Hey everyone, I'm Road Track to Community Business and welcome to the 2024 edition of Center Stage, the annual fun field interview series exclusively hey, done by the Road Track Club of the University of Columbia Faculty of Management and Finance. For the fourth episode of this series, they'll have a fantastic guest join us, someone who's a real mover and shaker of our district's finances. Please give a warm welcome to Road Tractor past president Vinuli Nirodra, our Road Track District Treasurer. Get ready for some insightful conversation and a lot of fun. Let's start with a dose of fun questions. If your life were a movie genre, would it be comedy, drama, action, or fantasy? And what is the reason? Mm. It would be a mixture of, I would say, comedy and drama because I don't have any person. So you can ask from the guys outside. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. What fictional character do you believe would make the best road track club president? In the island. <laughs> If you could swap lives with any road tractor for a day, who would it be and what would you do? At the moment, I would say it's with me. Like, uh, we're sort of a fan of the, like, the expressions and everything. Any road track crushes on your radar? If it's yes, can you rate his or their presence in a scale of 1 to 10? Okay. I'll say it's yes. Mm, the looks. About eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you could, could instantly master any skill, what would it be? Negotiation. Because I am so bad at it. So, yeah. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Maybe a reason. Describe Road Tractor Reshaka in one sentence. Can you reveal one secret of his life to the earth? <laughs> so I think I have to be very careful about this. So we try to get fired. What do you think? Mm, he's very hardworking, smart. A bit of a serious character, but uh, who is also is Rupi. A secret. Mm. It's not a secret to say, but I would say he's very popular among the road track girls. <laughs> <laughs> With that icebreaker, let's move on to some important questions. <clears throat> what was the most exciting experience you had in your life? Hmm, I, I can't actually say there's one particular moment because then everything was really remarkable. But uh, if I were to pick one, I would say it's my first ever project that I uh, ever participated in, which was like. Uh, the smile 2.0 from the track of the Like, uh, if I didn't participate in that project, I would be in the track. So, yeah. If you had to pick one skill or lesson you gained from the track journey that you find invaluable in your personal life, what would it be? It's public speaking. Because, like, before I was part of the road track, I, like, something I really hated was speaking to audience. But these the opportunities that I got uh, through Road Track. Uh, I think now I'm a bit more confident enough to like, speak to the uh, audience. What memorable project or event in Road Track stands out as your favorite time? Mm. Mm. There are so many. Any project from the University of Moldova, that's the uh, highlights for me. And also, uh, the someone's daughter from the University of Trina and speaking hands from Wayne and the University of Night. And yeah, 
reflecting on your road trip journey what's the challenge you faced and how did you contribute and how did it contribute to your personal growth challenge uh two challenges i would say one is balancing everything like in the personal life the studies uh, the work and the road trip uh, personal zia most of them and uh, like it's it was bearable because i got the enough support from the peers and everyone from the mp aspect and also the other thing is like uh, i'm not a person who is very uh, out forward i would say so being a road tractor it's always like meeting new people and talking with each other and you know it's something very difficult in my aspect so i actually had to go out of my box and to like you do myself <clears throat> to like get to know each other and to build the connections and what not so i think road track has improved my uh, like and the the networking and also like uh, the time management and balancing in general yeah. what advice would you give someone who is considering joining road track for the first time yeah you should definitely give it a shot because Life is all about taking risks, and road track is a platform that you can like, like uh, showcase your potential to anyone in the world, like uh, without being restricted to the country or your colleagues and whatnot. So, like, there's no harm in actually taking the first step. So, make sure you actually enjoy the road track and to have fun while uh, enjoying the like serving the community. How do you balance your responsibilities within road track with other commitments in your life, such as work or education? What strategies have you found most effective in managing your time and energy? Right. So, uh, in my case, actually, my work work is very uh, flexible. I would say, although I do have working hours, so with that, it that it it has actually helped me a lot in balancing my other. Uh, the aspects of my life the family time the road trip life and what not but uh, if i were to say a uh, strategy to say i would say like uh, like uh, like prioritizing your work and see what you can actually do within a short amount of time and try to like uh, keep the importance to the most important uh, work that you Can you share a story about a meaningful connection or friendship you formed through road trip that has enriched your life or perspective? Oh, that's a very hard pick, I would say. But uh, each and every individual that I have met in my journey is someone who has actually helped me out in my career or my personal life. I would say because like uh, there is no particular like we can't be. Like judging people and say, okay, uh, he's a good person, he's a bad person. Like for myself, I was something I believe is that you have something to gain out of each and every one who actually meet in your life. So whoever has helped me out, like who have given me constructive feedbacks, who have pushed me uh, throughout my journey, like uh, everyone is someone who has actually like inspired me throughout my journey. Now it's time for some fun games. To wrap it up, we have a few games for you. So the first game is called Word Wise. So we have a few words written on a paper, scrambled up in a box here. So you need to pick ten words and try to build up a meaningful story on the fly. Hope you are ready. You may choose the first word now. G. Mm. I want to go to the gym. It's map. I want to go to the gym. Uh Which is located in a map. Spy. So I'm going to the gym which is located in a map and someone is spying on me. And my crush is also in that gym. 
And my mom said, uh, "I can get the vote for the person who is always uh, losing things." Okay, <laughs> this is tough. Uh, so I actually told the story to my girlfriend, who is in university. Awesome. So with this solution, we decided to make this segment more challenging. So here is your second challenge. It is called the Echo of Center Stage. In this segment, you will be provided a noise cancelling headphone, lasted to maximum volume. I will speak out five small sentences. Let us see if you can pick out the words I say. A dog chews shoes. A dog. Choose shoes. Choose shoes. Shoes. A shoe. Choose shoes. Choose a shoe. shoe. Xmas tree on a Christmas day. Xmas tree. Xmas. Xmas tree. Tree on a Christmas day. On, on a on a Christmas day. On a Christmas day. An ape, an, an ape. ape hates hates grape cakes. Grape grape cakes cakes. Peter Piper Peter Piper picked a peck. Picked a peck. Peter Piper picked a peck. Pick a pick. Peck peck peck. Pig Piper, pig a pig, 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 a pig, 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 yes. So as we wrap up here is an on the house peach and pear iced tea by our official venue sponsor Brew 1867 by Delma. Thank you. For being a part for the fourth episode of Center Stage. For more exciting episodes like this, click here.